King Herod Agrippa was persecuting believers in the church. He killed James, one of Jesus' apostles. When the king saw how happy this made the Jews, he arrested Peter too. The king put Peter in prison and assigned groups of soldiers to keep guard. While Peter was in prison, other believers in the church prayed and asked God to help him. The king planned for Peter to be killed. The night before his trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. He was in chains, and other soldiers stood guard at the gate of the prison. All of a sudden, an angel of the Lord appeared and a bright light shone in Peter's prison cell. The angel struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, the angel said. The chains fell off of Peter's wrists. The angel told Peter to get dressed, so Peter put on his sandals and his cloak. Then he followed the angel. Peter wasn't sure what was happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. The angel led Peter out of the prison, past the guards, through the gate, and onto the streets. Then the angel left. When Peter looked around, he realized the Lord had rescued him from prison and from certain death. Peter hurried to the house of Mary, the mother of John Mark, where the believers had gathered to pray. When Peter knocked at the door, a servant named Rhoda answered. She heard Peter's voice, and she was so happy she rushed back inside, leaving Peter standing outside. Peter is here! He is at the door! she announced. But the others didn't believe her. You're crazy, they said. Peter kept knocking, and when they opened the door, they could hardly believe it. Peter motioned to them to be quiet, and he told them how the Lord had rescued him from prison. Tell James, Jesus' half-brother, and the other brothers about this, Peter said. Then he left. When the sun came up, the soldiers at the prison couldn't figure out what happened to Peter, and the king punished the soldiers because Peter had escaped. God answered the people's prayers for Peter. God had a plan for Peter and the church, and he rescued Peter from his enemies. Peter knew he would face death because he believed in Jesus, but he kept going so he could share the good news of the gospel.